off body rain. All right, uh, what should I call you, Jawe? Jawe, yes. All right. Yes. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Ari in Beijing once again. I hope you missed me, but if you didn't, screw you. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so today I'm here with my friend Jawe, who, um, uh, Jawe, would you mind introducing yourself, please, yeah, for us? Yeah, sure. Hola a todos, me llamo Jawe Li, yo nací en China. Y después trasladé a México, so I lived there in Mexico for a year. Then I went uh, back to China. Et après, je suis déménagé euh, aux États-Unis. Et après, je suis allé en Italie. C'est pour ça que je parle italien, français. Uh, that's why I'm speaking a switch all these different languages. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm back in New York and share my, you know, thoughts on maybe different languages. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah. so roughly how many languages would you say you can speak yeah. uh, fluently? So I'm actually fluent in seven languages. So I'm all certified. Uh, I took exams. So I speak fluently um, Spanish, uh, Francais, uh, Portuguese, uh, Italian, Italiano, and what else? Uh, what's that? Uh, French. Did I say French? French, right? And Chinese and German. Um, all of these, uh, I took exam at uh, university. I also used the um, certified by the UN. Mm. And um, what do you do in New York now? Oh, so currently I'm working with the uh, United Nations. So, um, yeah, that's how I use a lot of languages and meet different people and I get a chance to talk to people who use uh, different languages. Awesome. And then what's, what's like your, uh, how did you get to New York and the UN? What's your, what's your brief background? Oh, yeah. So, uh, that was in Spanish. That, that, that part was in Spanish, actually. <laughs> but, oh, shit. But, but, Sorry, but I don't speak I, that one. <laughs> I, 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 I'll just briefly. So I was born in China. Then I went to Mexico to study archaeology. Uh, there I learned um, you know, Spanish and Nahuatl. Nahuatl is an indigenous language um, spoken by Azteca. Then I went back to oh, China. Oh, that's the one I can never pronounce. Like Nahuatl. Nahuatl. L. Nahuatl. Oh, Nahuatl. Okay, yeah. awesome. But I'm not fluent. You learned Nahuatl. that? I learned that, but I didn't, wow. I'm not fluent in Nahuatl. I just used that, mm. you know, for research. Okay. Then I went back to China. Then I came to United States. Um, then I did my master at Johns Hopkins. Uh, first mm. in Italy, uh, second in D.C. Um, international relations and economics. Um, then I moved back to New York, um, yeah. you know, working on the U.N. stuff. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And do these languages help you at the U.N.? Yeah, definitely. Um, actually, uh, it's quite helpful because you get to work pe with people from different backgrounds. So the language is actually the key that you start a conversation, you start get to know your colleagues, get to mm -hmm. know your team. And that's how you build up, you know, your bond, you know, the bond with your team and start working, you know, team, team building. Right. And it's also very helpful because uh, all those projects, all those work uh, we do at UN has something to do with different countries, you know, you know with uh, Africa, with Latin America, with the uh, Middle East. So right. it's really helpful if you understand the background, uh, the, the culture and the people. Do you have any funny stories of, yeah. you know, of using a different, um, a different language in an unexpected way at the yeah. UN or in your personal life? Oh, a lot of time. So like in New York, um, I'm not sure, uh, I mean, people understand like, Especially in New York, um, I often go, you know, go out. I don't even speak English with them. I just, you know, speak Spanish uh, with them. Especially in, in like Brooklyn or in, you know, um, I don't know, Queens. People speak mm. a lot of Spanish and Portuguese. Then I also, you know, uh, in Manhattan sometimes I just speak French with them. And they will just get confused. I have to tell them I'm from Brazil and people are easy to understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they, you're speaking French with them. Yeah. And they think you're from Brazil. No, no, no. Um. So I, so I speak Spanish with them. They get confused, right? Because okay. they, they cannot figure out if I'm yeah. from, um, you know, Central America or from right. Asia. Then I start to speak Portuguese with them because right, they can right, understand. Right. And in, in Brazil, there are a lot of Asians, Japanese immigrants, yeah, and yeah. Asian immigrants in Brazil. Okay. Uh, they understand. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Awesome. And um, what um, what so so h how. How have you studied all these languages? Like, what's your yeah. what what does your language learning process look like? You all my secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your secret sauce? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's a it's a long story, but like yeah. very short. So, um, so first you have to like you know you have to be interested in that. I think interest is really important. You know, you have yeah. to be to be interested in the people you want to talk to. You you have to be you know uh, interested in in um, the culture you want to be exposed to. Then, then the, the, the rest is very easy. You just, you know, start 
reading the grammar book. My my process was a little different because I start you know learning by myself first, like uh, read all the books. Yeah. Uh, then I go out talk to people. Right. Then in the end, before I do all the exam, you know the certification, I take one you know one intensive course like for three months or two months just to you know smooth out all yeah. the. Uh, uh, misunderstandings during the process okay. when I talk to people, you know, yeah. in terms of the language knowledge, then that's it. So the whole process should take no more than six months, I think. Got it. And so to summarize, yeah. um, you talk to a lot of people. Exactly. You read, you read through grammar books. Exactly. And uh, intensive courses where. Awesome. Yeah, but intensive course is just like adds on. It's optional totally because okay. that's actually uh, to prepare for certain exams. Right. But you are not. If you're not doing exams, you want a language, so you can skip that part. Got it. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. Um, and I have a question from Ross on Patreon. Um, so if Ross is out there, thanks for this question, buddy. Uh, do you ever feel guilty about spending your time on one language when you feel like, oh, I should be spending my time with this other language, or like, you know, I'm learning yeah. French and like, oh my god, my Spanish is so bad, you know, and like, yeah. do you ever feel, do you ever feel that sense? Because I know personally for me, yeah. I know that when I'm not spending time learning Mandarin, yeah. uh, I feel, I feel guilty, you know, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. oh fuck, I should be spending more time with this. Oh, actually no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, I think um, one one important factor is that you you're you're one hundred percent you know devoted to one thing. It's like marriage, you know. When you when you you know um, start learning that language, it's like you have to be one hundred percent devoted. It's like you're marrying that language or that you know. You have to to be very well devoted. You cannot just switch you know between. Yeah. But until a point to the point that you can speak fluently and mm -hmm. you can. You can talk without, you know, um, barrier. Then you can switch to a new new language. Otherwise, I do not recommend. It's like you know, it's like cheating on. You know, the previous language cheating on. It's it's, it's not yeah, recommendable. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But do you do you um? I guess do you do you ever when you're studying a language? Yeah. Do you ever feel like, or when you're learning a new language, do you yeah. ever feel like I should be putting more time into yeah. maintaining this other language that I've already learned? No. <laughs> why, just, why, uh, why, why, yeah. why? <laughs> so, like I said, so I will not move on to a new target, new language until I'm fluent, like certified, pass the exam uh, right. of that language. So once I reach that point, there, um, so um, the um, the fluency you reach is very hard to lose. So it's like become a part of your skill skill right. sets now. So if, you, if even if you don't speak that, you don't use that for like some time. It's very easy to refresh. It's very easy. You just read some newspaper or just re, uh, listen to the radio. It mm -hmm. will come back in a day or two. So there's no need to you know constantly be be uh, worrying about um, you know not be able to um, talk talk in that language. Yeah. But that's on on the uh, condition that you are fluent in that language first. Right. Right. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Maybe I should feel less guilty about not not spending time uh, learning Mandarin. So. No, no, you know, Mandarin is perfect. I mean, you, you, you should move on to a new one. Then just refresh it. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And um, why do you? Why do you? What motivates you to learn languages? Like, why? Why do you yeah. do this? Why? Why do you learn so many languages so well? Yeah. I, well, um, first, it just happened because I, you know, I because I lo first of course interest I mentioned because I love. Um, you know, talking to people, I love different culture. I, I always want you know to 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 understand the world. So that's one of the motivation that drives right. me to learn the language. Because if you you cannot talk, you can understand the language. It's very hard for you to communicate with the people yeah. there. So one reason is why I want to understand the world. I want to see different people. Yeah. That's why I went to Mexico. You know that in the first place to, right. and study archaeology. Um, the second thing I think is that you. Um, I don't know if you like the people, you know, you, you try out, you know, you try yeah. the people, try the culture, you like it, then it motivates you to learn more, you know, because you want to yeah. be able to enjoy, enjoy, um, join the community, join the group. Okay. So that's another, um, you know, uh, factor. So now I'm heading out with uh, French, Italian, um, Spanish, um, Germans. And Mexicans, you know, people everywhere. So that's another fact. You know, you want to be friend with them. So you yeah. have to understand their culture, language. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's great, yeah. dude. And yeah. then, um, if you had one yeah. message to put on the billboard, um, to to put on a billboard for the entire world to see, yeah, what would that message be? Oh, um, okay. Uh, that's a very interesting question. So I think, um, um, I think, 
I want to say that um, there's no such one language that is so difficult that nobody can learn. Mm. So I think because many I heard so many times that people say, "Oh, Chinese is so difficult, Arabic is so difficult, Spanish is so difficult, you know, Russian is so difficult, right. or Italian is so difficult." But that's not true. I think mm. of people have to understand that there's no such language in the world that's so difficult that you cannot learn. Right. I mean, there's there's like a certain level that in terms of literature, you know, um, you know, um, you know, cultural and you know, uh, research on that language, that's very difficult. But in terms, of, you know, communication, communicating, yeah, talking, conversation, there's no such language that's right. so difficult. Not Chinese, no Jap, not Japanese. There, you know, people. Um, in order to communicate, the human brain, we actually we share the same human brain. Yeah. So, yeah. So we should be able to have yeah. the basic communication. No, I totally agree. I find it really funny whenever anybody says like, yeah. "Oh, there's no way I can learn a new language. I, I'm just not smart enough." Like, <laughs> you get everybody. If, if there's a billion yeah. people in the world who speak Chinese, you know, hundreds of millions who speak speak Russian. Yeah, like, yeah. like you know, it can be done. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's yeah, not yeah. impossible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's just uh, an interaction with per, in, interpersonal interaction. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, do you have uh, do you have anything else to tell the audience? Like a Twitter feed you want to promote? Any, any, anything like that? A well, product to sell? <laughs> <I'm> well, <kidding. laughs> I think just just uh, focus on uh, the Aries video. I think very interesting. And I don't know. Maybe I would, I would come back again. But the video is very interesting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the, the, then just enjoy learning a new language, meeting new people, and uh, have great conversation. Know about the world, I guess. And that's it. All right, you guys heard it here first. Learn languages to know about the world. And uh, yeah. please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you all uh, next week, probably. Right. Next week. Almost certainly. All right, bye. Have a good one, guys.